Hi members, JB here, Thursday 22nd of October. Um, a little bit dry outside, but let's, uh, here's hoping we get a bit, of, a bit of rain over the next week or so, and uh, we can be talking about a full dam next time I do an update. Just want to talk quickly about the upcoming election. It's not uh, rocket science for everyone to understand that uh, COVID restrictions are becoming a bit of a political hot potato at the moment. Uh, we, uh, I guess, how does that affect us at the club? Well, our, our COVID safe industry plan is heavily driven from that level. And at the moment, we have to close the members bar in able to have a function that is, is commercially viable. Functions are critical to our business. If we don't have our functions, we lose money. We can't spend money on the golf course. So there's no there's no question there that we have to do them, but we are very aware of the inconvenience that it causes to the membership and we're not happy with it. So hopefully after the election, uh, we can see similar to WA in Tasmania where uh, gatherings and, um, and indoor activities can be one person per two square meters. Currently it's one per four. And that's the big driver behind our members bar being closed when we have a function. Okay, that one out of the way. Uh, We've had some coarse vandalism. Uh, look, we, we're a golf club, so we, we deal with moronic acts all the time. Uh, sometimes we'll come into work, there's pins up trees, there's uh, uh, tea markers have been stolen, we might find some needles on the course, and the occasional prophylactic, if you can believe it. Uh, but now we're, we're, we've got a, a pool noodle thief, and um, we, we can only assume that it is a golfer, because I, uh, I've racked my brain, I have no idea why anybody would come onto a golf course that... Um, has no issue with pool noodles and decides to take them all. But anyway, look, we're, we're going to check our CCTV, see if we can find out who it is. If it's you, please stop doing it. It's ridiculous um, and immature. That's all I have to say on that matter. Ice machines. So look, we've, we've had some um, some complaints about our uh, lack of ice available to the membership. Look, it's ice falls under the, the whole um, uh, buffet rule. We can't have communal service of food or drink. So unfortunately, we can't run the ice machine, and that's part of our uh, COVID safe industry plan. So I'm, I look, I'm sorry about that, but that's what it is. If you can just, if you really need ice on the course, bring it, bring it with you, bring your esky, and, and just pre-fill with some ice, or we'll get together with some mates and get some from the servo up the road. Okay, uh, clubhouse improvement project. So the planning's moving along very nicely. Uh, we we have an architect's brief now that we can actually give to. Uh, an architect to, to put together a design for the master plan, which we would like to get to the members as soon as we possibly can. Uh, now, I think it's probably not before time to, to introduce the membership to, to John Boland. John Boland is, a, is our project manager who has very kindly volunteered his time to put into the project. It'd be great. Uh, so I guess in the next mailer, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have a chat with John and uh, you can get to know him and, and hear a little bit about his background and, and what his thoughts are around uh, Wyndham Golf Club and the project in general. Uh, of course, so irrigation project, we're nearly around the front nine, which is fantastic. So things are progressing well there. We are about a week behind schedule, however. So um, uh, we, we're, we're factoring that into the mix, but uh, things are moving along quite nicely. And, and uh, from what I'm hearing, there's, there's been very little interruption to play. So, um, so that's great. And thanks everybody for your patience on that project. Um, it is very dry out there. Uh, we, we, the, the course is struggling we, and we've got a couple of staff that are um, allocated to the project as well. So again, I just ask members to bear in mind that, that little things around the place won't be done. Uh, the course will, will struggle a little bit, but not to a point where we're, we're going to have any major issues. But uh, please just be aware of that, that we, we're, we're very busy and we're trying to get this project done as quickly as possible. And we need rain. So let's just hope we get a big downpour over the next week. Uh, next mailer, we're going to have a new segment called Toddy's Tips. Um, we have a few unique local rules around Wyndham Golf Club, and I think it, uh, it'd be great to get uh, our esteemed Captain Mick Todd onto the screen and uh, explaining a few of these bits and bobs to, to the membership. So particularly in, in areas where there's um, uh, you know, a lot of congregation or, or, or crossovers, so uh, you know, um, in between 10 and, and um, the, the 18th, for example, you know, where, where does the path end, where does it finish, all that sort of stuff. So there's some local rules that, that uh, the guys have been putting together around all that sort of stuff to give some clarity and, uh, and we'll get Toddy out there to talk about that. Uh, okay, fees, so membership, we've had a really good uptake on renewals this year. Uh, I haven't seen any difference to prior years, so um, clearly COVID hasn't affected that side of things too much. Uh, we do have a few stragglers, um, they're common stragglers. I've had a look through the list, so look, everyone, if you can please pay your subs. And just a bit of a warning, if you don't pay by the end of uh, October, your continuity, continuity of membership will, um, uh, will cease. So that um, basically you have to rejoin the club. Um, board nominations. So they close on the 31st of October. Uh, forms are at the office. So if you want to put your name down, you simply uh, just, you need a proposer and a seconder um, being financial members and yourself, need, you need to be financial as of the, um, the 1st of October. 2020 uh, and the AGM. So we're looking the dates to be finalised, but uh, you can you can put tentatively into your calendar that it'll be early in December. 
Aside from that, everybody, I hope you're well and you're enjoying your golf and uh, happy golfing.